हॅलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सप्ताह संस्कृती चॅनल नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्र मैत्रिणींनो स्वागत आहे तुम्हाला सर्वांचं सप्ताह संस्कृती या चॅनलमध्ये विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आज आपण टेन्थ स्टँडर्ड सायन्स अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी पार्ट टूचं सेकंड लेसन लाईफ प्रोसेसिंग लिव्हिंग ऑर्गनिझम पार्ट वन याची एक्सरसाइज बघत आहोत तर चला आपल्या व्हिडिओला सुरुवात करूया क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट फिल इन द ब्लँक्स अँड एक्सप्लेन द स्टेटमेंट्स ए आफ्टर कम्प्लीट ऑक्सिडेशन ऑफ ग्लुकोज मॉलिक्युल्स डायजेस्ट नंबर ऑफ ए टी पी मॉलिक्युल्स ऑफ फॉर्म्ड थर्टी एट बी ॲट द एंड ऑफ ग्लायकोलायसिस डॅश डॅश मॉलिक्युल्स आर ऑप्टेंड पायरोविक ॲसिड ए टी पी एन ए डी एच टू अँड वॉटर मॉलिक्युल्स आर ऑप्टेंड सी जेनेटिक रिकम्बिनेशन ऑक्युअर्स इन डॅश डॅश फेज ऑफ प्रोफेज ऑफ मिओसिस फोन तर याचा आन्सर आहे पॅक्टीन डी ऑल क्रोमोजोम्स आर अरेंज पॅरल टू इक्वेटोरियल प्लेन ऑफ सेल इन मेटाफेज ऑफ मायटोसिस ई फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्लाझ्मा मेंब्रेन फॉस्फोलिपिड मॉलिक्युल्स आर नेसेसरी एफ आर मसल सेल्स परफॉर्म एनरोबिक टाईप ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन ड्युरिंग एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन टू राईट डेफिनेशन्स ए न्यूट्रिशन द प्रोसेस बाय विच ऑर्गनिझम टेक अप न्यूट्रियंट्स अँड युटिलाइज दीज न्यूट्रियंट्स फॉर व्हेरियस बायोलॉजिकल ॲक्टिव्हिटीज इज कॉल्ड न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन कॅन बी कॅटेगराइज एज ऑटोग्राफिक और हेटेरोट्रॉपिक ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन रिफर्स टू द प्रोसेस बाय विच ऑर्गनिझम्स सिंथेसिस देअर ओन फूड फ्रॉम इन ऑर्गॅनिक रॉ मटेरियल फॉर एक्झाम्पल ग्रीन प्लांट्स ऑर सम बॅक्टेरिया इन हेटेरोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन the organisms are unable to use light energy for the synthesis of food and are dependent on other organisms to full fulfill their energy requirements b nutrients nutrient is a substance available in food that help us to stay healthy the main nutrient available in food are carbohydrates fats protein vitamins minerals and uh, rough c proteins proteins are a type of bio uh, molecules which are made up of amino acids a protein is made up of several amino acids which are linked together by peptide bonds they play various roles like help in body building repairing worn out cells and keeping us healthy d cellular respiration cellular respiration is a process in which respiratory substance such as starch glucose fats proteins are broken down and release energy this energy is then trapped for the synthesis of atp to release co2 e aerobic respiration cellular respiration occurs by two processes aerobic and anaerobic respiration the process by which the breakdown of carbohydrates occurs in the presence of oxygen resulting in the release of energy in the form of atp is called aerobic respiration f glycolysis is the first step in the respiration in the step 6 carbon glucose is broken down into three carbon molecule called pyruvic this does not require oxygen one glucose molecule produce two pyruvic molecules question 3 distinguish between a glycolysis and tca cycle Crave cycle or DCA cycle and uh, it is a cyclic pathway. Substrate is acetyl-CoA, occurs in the matrix of uh, mitochondria. It produces ox- uh, oxaloacid and NADH, FADH2, ATP and carbon. Glycolysis. It is a linear pathway. Substrate is glucose, occurs in cytoplasm and it produces pyruvic acid, NADH and ATP. B. Mitosis and meiosis. mitosis it involves single division resulting in the formation of two daughter cells it is also known as equational division as the daughter cell has the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell the prophase stage is short and does not comprise of synapses crossing over and the formation of uh, chiasmata it plays a significant role in cell growth repair and healing of wounds meiosis it involves two successive divisions namely meiosis first and second resulting in the formation of four daughter cells meiosis one is known as reductional division where the chromosome number is reduced to half meiosis two is known as equational division where the sister chromatids separate while the chromosome number remain the same it brings about variation and maintains 
constant chromosome number from one generation to another it mainly takes place in the reproductive cells see aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration it involves a partial breakdown of glucose and net gain only two molecules of atp occurs here oxidation of nadh2 nad plus is a slow reaction aerobic respiration it involves uh, the complete breakdown of glucose into carbon and water a net gain of 36 molecules of atp occurs here oxidation of nadh2 nad plus is a vigorous reaction question 4 give scientific reasons a oxygen is necessary for complete oxidation of glucose answer glucose can be used by two pathway aerobic and uh, anaerobic respiration glucose is completely oxidized only in the presence of oxygen and results in the release of energy it undergoes three steps to finally reach its fate glycolysis Krebs cycle and uh, electron transport chain reaction in anaerobic respiration glucose undergoes partial oxygen oxidation and results in the release of energy which is comparatively less to the energy released during an aerobic respiration b fibers are one of the important nutrients answer fibers are one of the important nutrients because they help in the digestion of foods although they themselves are not digestible they help in the uh, digestion of undigested substances which is also a reason why we are advised to have fiber rich food in the case of constipation fibers are naturally present in leafy vegetable fruit cereals etc c cell division is one of the important properties of cell and organs answer cell division is one of the important properties of cell organism because first it is the main means of asexual reproduction in unicellular organism second the zygote which is formed of single cell transforms into an adult composed of millions of cells formed by successive divisions third it is the basis of repair for old and worn out tissues fourth it is also results uh, regeneration of organisms five it forms the basis of evolution to various life forms d sometimes higher plants and animals to perform an aerobic respiration answer when availability of oxygen is limited higher animals and plants can also show an aerobic respiration for example during exercise the availability of oxygen to muscle is limited as a result of which they undergo an aerobic respiration and results in the production of lactic acid Similarly, plants may also show anaerobic respiration in case of waterlogged roots and result in the production of ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. Although the energy obtained through anaerobic respiration is less as compared to the energy released during aerobic respiration. E. Krebs cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle. Answer. Krebs cycle is also known as citric acid cycle because the first product formed during the cycle is citric acid. Citric acid is formed by condensation of an acetyl group with oxalocytic acid and water. Why? Answer in detail. A. Explain the glycolysis in detail. First, carbohydrates are converted into glucose after the process of digestion is completed. The oxidation of glucose for releasing energy is called glycolysis which takes place in cytoplasma second glycolysis can occur in presence of oxygen or without oxygen too the first type of glycolysis takes place in aerobic respiration and the second type is in the anaerobic respiration three in aerobic respiration there is stepwise oxidation of glucose molecule forming two molecules each of pyruvic acid atp nadh2 and water four Later, the pyruvic acid formed in this process is converted into molecules of acetyl coenzyme A along with two molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of carbon dioxide. Fifth, during anaerobic respiration along with glycolysis, there is uh, fermentation too. This is incomplete oxidation of glucose and thus it really uh, results 
in formation of lesser energy six the process of glycolysis was discovered by gustav emden otto meyerhof and jacob parnas therefore in their honor glycolysis is also called emden meyerhof parnas pathway emp pathway for the discovery they had performed experiments on muscles b with the help of suitable diagrams explain the meiosis in detail My, uh, mitosis is the process of equational cell division where daughter cells are produced or contain an equal number of chromosomes as that in the parent cell the various stage, stages of mitosis is an animal cell are as follows a prophase it is the first stage of mitosis that is marked by the in, initiation of the condensation of chromosomal material each chromosome is composed of two chromatids which are attached by the centromere at the end of prophase the meiotic spindle begins to form from the centrioles the nuclear membrane and the nucleus disappear completely by the end of this stage b metaphase it is a second stage of meiotis in which the cons- uh, condensation of the chromosomal material and the spindle formation gets complete the spindle fibrates fibers get attached to the kinetochores of the chromosomes and the chromosomes get aligned along the metaphase plate in the middle of the nucleus 3 anaphase it is the stage of meiotis where the centromere of the chromosome split and the chromites get separated the const- contraction of the spindle fibers move the sister chromi- chromatid apart towards the two opposite poles fourth telophase it is the last stage of mitosis in this stage chromosomes finally reach their respective poles the spindle fiber disappear and the nuclear envelope re- reappear around the chromosome cluster also the nucleus golgi complex endoplasmic uh, reticulum and other cell organelles reappear see with the help of suitable diagram explain the five stages of prophase 1 of meiosis answer prophase 1 is the longest phase of meiosis and is further subdivided into five phases leptotin cons- uh, condensation of makes chromosome pick come distinct and compact zygotin homologous chromosomes start pairing together by a process called synapsis to form a complex structure called synaptomal complex two synapsed homologous chromosomes form a complex called bivalent or tetrad uh, packetin longest phase of prophase prof- 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 one recombination nodules appear in the stage at the sites where crossing over has to take place between non sister chromites of homologous chromosomes diplotin synaptomal complex dissolve and recombinate uh, separate from each other expect at cross over sites from x shaped structure called chiasma dikinis chiasma terminalize and chromosomes condense mitotic spindle assemble and nucleus and nuclear envelope disappear d how all the life process contribute the, to the growth and development of the body answer life processes are processes which are required to maintain body function and are necessary for s- survival the important life process are nutrition transportation metabolism reproduction respiration and exertion all these processes of work together and result in the growth and development of the body for example nutrition is the process by which we take up nutrients which are used by the cells to meet their respective needs this is a vital process which helps living being to obtain their energy from various sources respiration is associated with the exchange of gases as well as burning of food it results in the breakdown of glucose and release of oxygen similarly cell cycle and cell division plays an important role in the growth and development of the organism they help in the formation of new organisms as well as repair of dead and damaged cell and tissue 
E. Explain the Krebs cycle with reaction. Answer. Krebs cycle is a cyclic pro process that occurs in mitochondrial matrix in the presence of oxygen. Step 1. The cycle starts with the condensation of an acetyl group with oxalic acid and water to form citril acid. With the release of COA molecule, the enzyme involved in this conversation is citrate synthesis. Step 2. Citrate then isomerized to form isocyte. Step 3. The synthesis of citrate is followed by two successive steps of decarbolization. First, the formation of alpha ketoglutaric acid and then that of sunicyl COA. Step 4. This sunicyl CoA gets oxidized to form malic acid, which in turns get converted into oxalic acid, thereby allowing the cycle to continue. The entire process of Krebs cycle can be represented as follow. Question six: How energy is formed from oxygen of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins? Correct the diagram given below. Answer. Carbohydrates are the major of sources of energy and this energy produces in the form of ATP. Glucose which is a type of carbohydrates undergoes oxidation in the presence of oxygen to produce ATP. It undergoes three steps to go get complete oxidized and the end products which are obtained are carbon dioxide, energy and water. Glucose may also undergo anaerobic respiration under certain circumstances. Proteins are biomolecules uh, bio that are made up of several amino acids that are joined together by peptide bonds. For every 1 gram of protein that is digested, 4 calorie energy is released. Protein are digested and broken down into amino acids which are then observed by the various cells of body. These amino acids are then used for the synthesis of proteins required by cells and the body. Fats are molecules that are made up of fatty acid and glycerol. Digestion of fats elides fatty acids which are absorbed by the cell and used as per their requirement. For example, fatty acids are used for producing hormones like progesterone, estrogen, etc. And this correct diagram. This is the diagram. So, thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, please comment on the comment. If you have any questions, please comment on the जो वीडियो आवडला असेल तर लाईक करा तुमच्या मित्रांना शेअर करा चॅनलला सबस्क्राइब करा म्हणजे असेच नवनवीन वीडियो तुम्हाला आमचे पाहता येतील धन्यवाद